I want to share with you a really cool story that just happened to me um, in regards to manifesting and how quickly things can happen and how sometimes you just have to shift slightly the way that you word things in order for things to work out. Um, I was watching a video from Amy Westmoreland on the channel Illuminating Joy and she shared about how she had bags under her eyes and it was just that slight change in verbiage from focusing on the bags under her eyes to her eyes being healthy and her skin being nice and this is a technique and a little trick that I'm already aware of but it's one of those things where like sometimes you just have to hear it more than once you just got to hear the same message a couple times for it to really sink in and I've been having like darker circles around my eyes and I'm almost certain it has to do with my adrenals and my kidneys which I'm working on in other ways um, so however I was like oh yeah I just need to instead of focusing on the dark circles I need to think of my skin is perfect and healthy and the uh, you know specifically so the skin around my eyes is healthy and perfect and I have had this little like sty thing it's not it's not really a sty because it's not red it wasn't bugging me um more like this white head that's been there for months months and months and i've put hot packs on it um didn't hurt didn't bother me just kind of unsightly and not two days think about two days after I said these affirmations that the skin around my eyes is perfect and healthy and colored healthily uh, this just yesterday this little white head on on the inside of my eyelid it popped and it released whatever junk was in there and it's gone in two days after I changed my manifestation wording and started focusing on the desired outcome but my intention was for the coloring around my eyes to be healthy and perfect and then but I said the skin so the skin around my eye where this little whitehead thing was just disappeared it's gone it's healthy now like it's it looks like nothing was even there and this happened two days after I set my intention and um, did not expect that. So, you know, sometimes unexpected things can happen and you just have to shift the wording and your intention to the things that you want in a positive statement. Because when you are focused on the things you don't want, you're gonna get more of what you don't want. So let's use something like, something common like acne as an example. Instead of saying, I want the acne to go away. I have no more acne. You're gonna continue to have the acne because you're still thinking of the acne, right? I want the acne to go away. So you need to shift that to something like, I have perfectly clear skin. My skin is healthy and beautiful. My skin is perfect tone and whatever else you can come up with, make it your own. But do you see what I'm, where I'm going with this? You have to envision, verbalize, and intend the desired outcome and live from the end. I mean, live in your mind and start experiencing and feeling the things as if they have already come to pass. If you want money in your life, you have to say, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am prosperous, I am uh, successful, I am a thriving business owner, or I have the job of my dreams. Whatever fits your scenario, if you want a good relationship instead of 
let's say you are in a relationship and you want your boyfriend to act differently. Well, you have to think of him or her, if it's your girlfriend, you have to think of them as if they have already made that change and you see it in your own head and you think of it as if they've made those changes and then you let it go. Don't, don't try to hound them and work on changing yourself and you will see when your vibe changes how those around you also begin to change and let's say you're trying to attract somebody into your life you need to focus on the qualities of what you want in that person maybe write a list write a list of your dream home features write a list of your dream car and all the cool gadgets it has or write a list of all the traits and qualities and attributes of somebody that you want to marry focus on the positives and the things you want not to be delusional of your current reality but you know take some time to imagine and daydream and invoke health into your own life and it comes in unexpected ways you never know who you're going to meet you never know what kind of situations you're going to come across you just never know it's part of the surprise it's part of the fun in it the unknown is where adventure lies and where manifestations happen so enjoy the adventure go explore and explore your own mind relax your mind, go out somewhere like this and just calm your mind. Look at the things around you. I went for a walk without the phones, no technology, just the dog. Enjoy the nature. You have to let your mind relax and get away from trying so hard all the time. So I, anyways, check out uh, Amy Westmoreland's channel. Again, it's Illuminating Joy. She's super cool. She has some of the best tips for manifesting and some of the coolest stories as well of things that have happened in her life. So get to manifesting. Create your life. Create the life of your dreams. You can have it all.